Yo, 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 it's your boy Slug in the video. You guys already know what the deal is, man. We got some more Phantom Parade video for y'all, and this time is for Mahito. This is a showcase for him. I uh, hope I could clear the air of how you be using this man, but let's make it quick because you guys probably already know his kit. The thing that I like about Mahito is definitely his passive. So if his HP is below 70% and his curse energy spirits is at 40 or above. So you can have him at 40 or above, right? Not, not 30. But at the start of the turn, he start healing himself for free. And I'm pretty sure he could, yeah, he could do this constantly. Right, so there's no, there's no limit of him uh, healing. Like uh, Yuta, he also have a healing passive too, right? But the thing is, Yuta only could do uh, only he only could apply this. I think about three, four times that he could heal. Then after that, he can't do it no longer. But Matiho, he could do it as long as he survived. And as long as he have 40 uh, curse energy on him, so he could constantly keep on healing. So survivability is really good for him. And of course, skill one is just a basic. All his skills that does attack, right? His skill one and skill three, anything attack and his ultimate, right? And they all have the instant kill in it. But uh, when you use these, these are medium, right? They're both medium when it comes to instant kill. When is 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 measured by your magic value and uh, enemy HP so that's from what I'm seeing and when you use his domain so the first thing you want to do is pop his domain real quick so you can get so you can start popping off because once you're inside domain uh, these these two skill even skill two changes right these skills they become large so you got a larger chance of getting the instant kill Right, you want to prioritize using his skill one so you could keep his uh in his gauge bar so he could start healing, right? And you barely want to use this. The only time I re uh you want to use start using this skill is either you about to get an instant kill, like their health is like literally inches away, and you just want to snatch them out, right? But you barely want to use this. The only time you're gonna start spamming this is once you start, once you're inside the domain. Then you can start spamming it, right? Uh, skill two. The only time you want to use this if if you're really close to getting to your ultimate gauge, and you just want it, just you know, get your ultimate. Like maybe your ultimate is coming up next turn. If you just charge up this much, and you're gonna get it, right? So that's the only time. So you want to prioritize using skill one then uh, just spam the skill 1 OT then you start spam skill 3 right only time you use this like I said if you're really close getting your ultimate up and ready right but all you want to do is get the instant kill and you can see his magic attack and uh, physical stat and they're pretty much the same but the more val the best card that you want to use on him is the Jogo card but we're going to be running this line but you guys gonna see the showcase and definitely watch towards the very end because we're gonna show I'm gonna show you like uh, we're using only two people finding extreme one but this one we're gonna start hopping in in the stream two but I'll see you guys in the showcase all right all right let's get in this so we're gonna go uh, increase this attack start uh, weaken them down I bring Yuta so the reason why I bring Yuta here so I like Yuta because he got his AOE he got single target so it lower the enemy defense so uh so he could get his start getting his instant kill popping off right because that's what we want we want the we want to get him to start getting his instant kill and get his open engaged and as you guys can see the only card that I got attached to my hero is the uh, hollow purple gojo so he could increase his ultimate because you know I don't have the yellow card on here I don't even got it on my account actually so, let's just keep on going alright so I'm gonna have you to hit this guy next and uh, Pretty sure, hopefully, we could get this kill with the instant kill. With all this buff that we have here on Mahito, I guess we didn't get the instant kill right there, sadly. This instant kill is really tricky to start popping off. But once it do pop off, it start popping off. Uh, so uh, we definitely gonna get this kill. Like I said, we just try and keep a. Uh, we try and get, just keep his curse energy, so we're not trying to use like, skill 3 or anything like that. 
Looks good to me. As you can see, we start healing a little bit. Let's go knock this vampire down a little bit. Okay, damn. I actually want Mati Hope to get that kill. Alright. Uh, this could be a perfect time for me to... Start doing this. Right. Let me see. Uh, I'm gonna try to get my OT right here. Pretty sure that I will get my OT, then we have Yuta OT. The reason why I like to put uh, Ahito in the back because when I'm using Yuta Ultimate, if Yuta doesn't finish, then uh, hopefully uh, Ahito get the instant kill. Uh, you know, because we're lowering down the health bar of the enemy. So that's my point. Uh, let's go. Uh, you got I think you have to select the right person too. Yeah, so you have to select it by the way, so when you're using Matito Ultimate, you have to select the person that uh I have no clue why, but then I feel like cause they show the animation maybe get the instant kill on that certain unit more likely. So we're gonna go inside that domain. Yuta definitely not gonna kill right because we don't got time for advantage in here. And there you go. But here we go with Mahito. And we're gonna get that. He's def definitely breaking the shield, but not the instant kill, I believe. Nope, we didn't get the instant kill, but those other two now. Backline skinning it. So now that we're in the domain, guess guess now what we're doing. We're gonna start popping off. Right. We can't even heal here anyways, but we're just going to throw that in. And uh, I'm going to just lower, lower down his defense, and we're going to start popping off this. Right, and hopefully we should get this instant kill. This helps to be low enough for us to get this instant kill. We don't have type of vanish, by the way. Blue units are good at this. And we did not get the instant kill. This instance kill is really tricky, but I'm pretty sure this one for sure is still is a kill. But it would have, like, even if we didn't get the instant kill, he would have got this kill regardless. But there you go. Mahito just grabbing it. We just grabbing stuff. And uh, I found that kind of really odd right there, what happened. So, what you saw right there is, uh, so you know how Matito was at the end, right? For some reason, he attacked second. That's uh interesting. Maybe because he got the instant kill right there. So he just goes in whenever uh, he's ready. Because I couldn't have sworn uh, Yuta was, you know, he, he was attacked last. Unless Yuta was attacking. But yeah, All right, we're going to go on to the next. All right, I, want, I do want to use this... Uh, Mahito in this jungle extreme 2 fight, so we're gonna go in here and see what's popping off. So this is the memory we have over here. Show you guys uh, my love for my skills. So as you guys see, we do not have any Maki, so I'm not gonna, uh, so I'm not trying to chase this. But I'm trying to use Mahito to see if we could get this clear. Just try to play with him, right? So like I said, so since we're going to be taking heavy damage, now it's time for us to heal. Right, so we're going to do a healing round here, that's why I have Yuta in here. You can bring a healer like Shoko, but then he also have a self heal too as long as uh, it's above 40%. So that's why you want to use the base attack on this first turn here. So let's go, uh, let's hit this defense. Come like that. Yuta, we want Yuta to heal too, so we want to just do this. We won't buff a Gojo. We're just going to hit with the skill 1, right? Because we want his, like I said, for his passive to work. Hit when uh, Jogo uses domain, our HP is going to be below that same percent uh, thrust earth, And we're going to have that 40%. So on the start turn, he should start getting it. And see, he does heal himself. Right? I think that Yuta heal did not work. Uh, yep, 
Because I was actually curious if you took a heal home, but I guess maybe not. I didn't see that heal. Yeah. But then we just gonna use you to heal. Popping up with Gojo. And Mahito is gonna start doing this. So he, he could just keep on healing inside this domain. As long as his HP is high here. And he could heal. Oh, he could heal from that card. Nice. Interesting. But I guess he did heal. So that's really nice to know. Uh, we do want to get his ultimate gauge up. So we're going we're gonna to do this. That's interesting, so you can cook heal him if, he, if it's still below that 70% though. Uh, and he got his curse energy up there. Wow. Interesting. Kayuta is going to be his ultimate pretty soon. We're going to pop his Gojo. And we want his HP to be up there still. Well, I don't need no more healing, to be honest. Yeah. You're probably not gonna pop this, right? Because we're still inside Jogo Domain. We got close to it. Okay, he killed those two, that's fine. I'm gonna get a uh, heal to it here. Gito's gonna lower the defense down. We're gonna break the shield. Well, I wanna break the shield with Gojo. I feel like I want Mati to break the shield if he could. Well, we got type of vanish, so most likely we could break the shield. Let's see. And we do break the shield. Nice. But we didn't get the OT. Well, we still broke the shield though. Um, Gojo's doing that. Alright, pop this. Alright, that Machido is going to get his OT damage, lower down his defense some more. Chip damage him, and we're going to hit that domain. Uh, the memory, the Jogo memory that I have on my kill is really nice. Oh, we got so close, and that's the instant kill. As you see right there, so we did pop off the instant kill. So uh, that's why I like Mahito in the back row, because he just be chilling, you know. So we actually did clear it right. Of course, we had like a lot of people that's hard to kind of get in the game already, like Yuta. So Yuta healing does heal him. I think it healed him, or, or only the memory could heal, but you guys seen it, right? It was pretty cool. I mean, we did not get the full clear because we lost people in the front, but it's doable with Mahito in here, right? Because I'm pretty sure that's the whole point of him. They, they, if you don't know the cheese comp with Gojo in them, they, that's the reason why they have Mahito so he could heal up in the Jogo domain by the time he get that and we just popping off. So yeah. Let's go on to the next one, see what we could do. Alright, y'all, we're gonna have a little fun right here. So, we're gonna do the extreme one right here. Alright, I know it's not the hardest one, but we just gonna bring in two people <laughs> Gojo and uh, Mahito. So, we do have the healing card right here, and we have uh, this one. So, we're gonna try to get this instant kill with just these two. So, we're not gonna use the Inumaki Chi strat or anything like that. Just try and have a little fun before we end this video in the showcase. But I do, I do really like this instant kill. And uh, this, the Jogo memory card for this fight is so good. So we just gonna, how are we gonna start this off? But we just gonna just nip pick and him. We just gonna nip pick. Gonna hit the domain, gonna get hit can hit, that's why I brought the healing card. So don't worry about it. So we're not really worried about Gojo. Mahito is gonna start healing himself after his turn. Which is fine that he's taking damage right here. We're gonna use Gojo with the healing and we're gonna do a self buff. 
Chimo, Chimo. Mahito, we gonna start doing. Oh, yeah. We just did that. It's a good one. Go just on some buffing so we can start getting his uh, OT up. Chimo, Chimo. Use this, uh, we're going to use skill 2 so he can get his crystal to his ultimate up quicker too. And plus he still won't be healing. Alright. So, Bojo's gonna keep on buffing. Keep on buffing. Uh, he's out his domain. I don't think we... We can't do this now. We do. We still want to heal a little bit. Uh, my toes are going to be still on. We'll do a buff here one more time. Then we're going to uh, start popping out our OT on both Gojo and my team. So let's go pop this boat. It'd be crazy if we get this instant kill by having doubt it. Gojo didn't kill, but it's okay. That's why we're gonna break the shield right here. And we're not gonna get the Asta. But then, yeah, Mahito is gonna be by itself now. But that did massive damage. Now he's inside the domain, and I'm pretty sure Mahito could start killing this by itself now. So Gojo's gonna be saying bye bye. Oh. Mm. Alright, we're still healing. We just got to go start snatching. And we got the instant kill the next time. So, and plus, by the way, so when we're inside domain, we got a higher chance of getting the insta kill. So, there you go. So, that's uh, Mahito. I uh, I know it's not the greatest showcase out there, but it was, uh, it was really, really fun playing with him. And I had a fun so i would say this prioritize on his skill one mostly right so you could get the heal off and um and memory card get use that free jogo card because that's part of the best memory card for him and uh you barely will use his skill two the only time i will use his skill two if you really need that ultimate ready and you know just to increase it a little bit further and uh but just make sure that his curse energy is above 40 so he could get his healing off if you're gonna do this and and i guess uh from his healing his passive from his healing if his his health is below 70 percent and he have 40 curse energy he could he could heal forever but yeah of course if you put him in the hard content uh that uh that healing would not be as crazy but of course, uh, it's still really nice that he have a self heal because not, not a lot of these cursed spirit could heal in the first place. So be mindful could heal. As we know, in it's not an anime, but like, it's pretty pretty cool that they kind of did that for him. Uh, it would have been, uh, it would been cool if he did the whole Yuta thing, right? That'd be kind of broken, but yeah, it, it's fine. And. As you guys see, he has the instant kill, and it's crazy when it, when you're in the domain, his his domain, the instant the instant kill thing start procking off, it start popping off, right? And just use just spam his skill three, right? Spam his skill three because the reason why I say that because right after his domain is over, all your curse energy will go to zero. So just use everything that you got when you're inside domain. Just go all in, right? And hopefully you get that instant kill on the boss. But I guess you can't get it on certain bosses, but I don't know why, uh, I'm not sure what bosses because so far we can instant kill off this Jogo and all that stuff and even in the uh, fantasy battle we get instant kill over there uh i'm trying to think like where we can't use this because they say in certain places but yeah but that's gonna be the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed that man like the video sub to your boy and don't forget to hit the bell if you haven't yet and you already know what the deal is uh what's that word i will be looking for y'all oh yeah and we out of here one